scripture is taken this morning from the uh, book of Romans, the 8th chapter, the 26th through the 39th verses. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he, also, and he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. For those God foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, and he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. For he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. More than conquerors. What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen? It is God who justifies. Who then is the one who condemns? No one. Christ Jesus, who died, more than that, who was raised to life, is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble, or hardship, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, for you sake, for your sake we shall, excuse me, for your sake we face death all day long. For we, we are considered as sheep no, in all things, we are more than conquerors through him who loves us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ. Jesus, our Lord. 